Hey, it's another installment of Car Talk. Just got back from the 2024 Palmetto ADV Rally in near Charleston, South Carolina. It was great. Bunch of people there, got to meet some new folks, got to revisit with some folks that we met last time and that we knew prior. Um, we got to see a lot of people win some stuff and got to ride a bunch of the eastern South Carolina trails in the Francis Marion Forest and etc. But during the time that we were there, we got to commiserate and talk about things that we would normally not talk about uh, in our daily lives um, when we have those normal conversations with everybody that we normally have uh, time with. And so politics and religion and all of those things in between that you're not supposed to talk about at the dinner table at Thanksgiving were on the table for this event. And not that those conversations are required at the event, it's just that you find people that have similarities to you. And it's not necessarily political similarities or religious similarities or personality similarities. You have the bikes in common, that's pretty easy, and so you've already got a, a step in. But then when you get to talking to people, you find out that you have humanity in common. So I'd like to talk a little bit today about worry. There are different levels of worry. Of course, there are the little ones that, you know, you go through the day and you worry when you go through an intersection, let's say on a motorcycle. You go through an intersection, you check out all of the places to make sure the cars are coming and going to T-bone you or whatever. And so that's not really high level worry, that's alert. But it's still, you know, stressor. But then you have little worries, you know, how am I going to do on that project that they just assigned me at work and am I going to make the deadline? Maybe you're a younger person in college and you're worried about the test that's coming up at the end of the week. Or perhaps you're just getting into the dating scene and you're worried that the person you are approaching is going to not have a good outlook on you and they will reject you. Maybe you're worried a little bit about money. Uh, bills are coming up, you know. The, the, do I have enough money to meet the month? How far am I going to have to stretch things? Maybe you're worried about that cavity in your tooth. Maybe you're worried about your health in general. Maybe you're worried about your family, your parents or your children or extended. Maybe you're worried about death. I'm not so worried about death because I kind of know where I'm going afterwards. I am a little concerned about the dying part. I want that to be, you know, snappy. My dad got it right, fatal heart attack, right when he was taking out the trash from the house. He was a servant, he did the things, he, he was a pastor and he went out doing something for somebody. And I think that's what it is that I worry about. I worry that at the end of it all, did I do something, you know? Did I do something notable enough that when I am gone, the only thing that will be left of me is the ashes that I've asked my wife to spread out over a graveyard just for the irony of it? Will what I have done make a difference in strangers' lives? I think if I had to be buried with a headstone, um, for the record, I want to be cremated and, you know, spread out the graveyard thing. But if I had to have a headstone, it, I think that it would say, he made a difference in strangers' lives. Sort of the six degrees of Kevin Bacon, if you will. Some, it leads back to something that I had done that was a positive. I find myself worrying about that a little bit more and more. I just turned 54. If I live to be a hundred, I'm over halfway there. I've got less than I had. I've got less to go than I've used. So I worry a little, little bit of worry. I'm gonna say something that I haven't told in public before. I'm, my friends and my family know, my close friends and my family know. I was prone to panic attacks. They were nasty. I won't go into the details, but 
they pretty much made it impossible for me to do concentrate or do anything. In fact, the very first one that I ever had was on the happy in the happiest place on earth in, in Walt Disney World in Florida and it put me in in the in the um in the hospital area, you know, the medical area for three to four hours while I slept it off and I thought I was dying. I worry that that'll come back. But those panic attacks were the height of the worry. You know, you got bills and tests and intersections and you got family and job and, and then you've got my anxiety level and then you've got dying and death. How do you deal with it? I think the Palmetto ADV rally is a good kind of salve for the worry. It gets you out of your element, it gets you away from things, and it gets you doing something that you weren't doing yesterday, and it gets your mind off of things, and, but that just kicks the can down the road. I find it, uh, oh, by the way, I don't have the panic attacks anymore. I figured it out, something snapped. I had a, I had a moment, I had a epiphany, I had a, I don't know, something went click in, in a very stressful situation and I went, you know what, I've mentioned this one before, I didn't plan on saying this, but care a little less. It's not as bad as you think. Sometimes it is, and that's I think what we worry about. It's the unknown, right? It's a thing we can't control. If we can control everything, we wouldn't worry about it. If we were the guy, if we were the boss, boss, and even if we made a mistake, it wouldn't matter because, you know, you're the boss. I worry sometimes about how these little talks are being accepted. I mean, not only that's silly, but it's like, you know, you want to be liked. You want to be accepted. You want the things that you are saying to people to mean something. That's why I started doing these little talks in the first place. It just, I felt like our travel channel and our how-to channel were helping people explore the world and fix their motorcycles. You know, I, I don't fix my, I'm not a mechanic. You don't take my word for anything that I do about how-to. You, you know, it's just a guide. Um, play at your own risk. But I worry, you know, do you worry about the things that you say to other people if you were giving advice? That do you worry that they are actually going to take it and then, you know, it doesn't turn out well? Anyway, the whole point of this one is, I think I'm going to make a concerted effort, a more concerted effort, to make a mark. Not sure how to do that yet. I'm not sure how it would be accepted if I did figure out how to do that. But the conversations that we had with our fellow riders and our, our, our fellow humans that have similar experiences gave me another appreciation for the time I've got left. And I'll be dadgum if I'm going to waste it. It's not like I've come to this idea overnight. It's been boiling on me for a while. Things happen in your life that make big moments bigger and small moments big. And so I think I want to do something. I don't know what it is, like I said, but I'll figure it out. If you would, do me a favor in the comments. Oh, hit the like button in the, yeah, but in the comments, tell me what you worry about. Tell me how you get over it. And tell me what it is that you want to do to make a difference in strangers' lives. I'm Jason, Moto Photo. See you next time on a video not about motorcycles.